So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. iPhone 13 mini versus iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 13 mini did launch September 14, 2021, with the iPhone 12 mini coming in October 13, 2020, and the prices do reflect that. You're gonna find yourself the iPhone 13 mini for right around $699, with the 12 mini coming in at $599. I'm sure there's many people trying to get rid of these third party if you do wanna look at it on that front. Now, when talking about the body, the most noticeable factor here is that you have a smaller notch on the iPhone 13 mini. However, some people don't actually prefer the shape of it as it is a little bit deeper than the iPhone 12 mini, but you know, they weigh a similar weight. The mini still remains mini. They both do come in at a little bit different thickness, 7.4 on the iPhone 12 mini and 7.7 on the iPhone 13 mini, weighing 141 grams on that 13 mini as well over 135 grams so it did get slightly heavier and slightly thicker but that's going to pay off when we talk about should you upgrade in the battery department now both of these will give you ip68 dust and water resistance for the same exact rating and they both do feature that iphone 13 and iphone 12 design which features the squared edges as well as the glass back and the glass front so very good overall durability i would say on both these devices now when discussing the displays we are looking at super retina xdr oled hdr 10 supported displays on both but one key difference is the iphone 13 mini can get brighter than the iphone 12 mini and that is very important because when you're outside you can see it even better on a smaller screen that is very useful other than that they both have the same exact screen to body ratio at 85.1 percent which means that you're essentially looking at pretty thin bezels here on both these phones by comparison to some of the older iPhones. Now, the resolutions are also quite similar, giving you 1959 aspect ratios, which are decently wide. You know, they're not skinny phones, they're just really small phones here. And both have some of the highest density on any iPhone at 476 pixels per inch, which essentially means in regular terms, very sharp text because they're cramming 2340 by 1080 pixels in such a smaller screen. So amazing clarity, amazing sharpness. Although if you don't like looking at small screens you might be squinting a little bit at this one but if you're looking at the minis you know what you want by this point and you do have true tone of course and a wide color gamut on these phones one thing i will say though is that in my experience the video watching experience does get a little bit cramped if you are watching a lot of videos but when it comes to texting when it comes to browsing the web when it comes to just using the phone one-handed it really is a joy to use and the portability factor is very strong so i would say in terms of the actual size of the displays and stuff like that you're not really doing any upgrade here. So both of these are capable of upgrading to iOS 15.1.1 and going forward many more software updates after that. You know how Apple rolls. Now, should you actually change here? And the answer is no. You know, iOS is iOS. It doesn't matter which iPhone you're using. You're getting the same experience across the board and both these phones do have even a similar camera experience with the exception of the cinematic mode you don't get that on the iphone 12 mini but they both do have really good performance with a15 bionic on the iphone 13 mini and a14 on the iphone 12 mini both are on the five nanometer architecture so what that means is that in real world application you won't really actually see or even notice any difference in performance. Now, if you want to do some technical benchmarks, you can go ahead and brag all day about your A15 Bionic, but it's going to take a few years and several updates before that slight increase in performance will actually seem to affect the average consumer. Now, in the area of their storage, you do have an increase on the 13 mini, and this is actually makes it a better value add because last year you would get the 12 mini with 64 gigabytes for the same starting price as 128 gigabytes for the iPhone 13 mini but they both do give you four gigs of RAM. So again, in the performance area, Apple didn't include more RAM. That goes for the iPhone 13 as well. So four gigs is what you're gonna get here. However, iOS is super efficient. We already know you don't really need more for everyday tasks, but if you do open a lot and you become you know, more of a power user, you will start to notice that it's not quite as snappy on the multitasking as the iPhone Pro series. So if you're looking for that, you might wanna stick with the Pro models. Other than that, storage is decent. RAM is decent enough for what you're gonna do with these one-handed iPhone minis. So when talking about the cameras, when you look at both of them, you'll notice physically the camera is larger for the iPhone 13 mini on, it does go diagonal as well. So those are the pretty much the physical features that you will see are changed. However, also what's changed is you have a bigger pixel size on the wide sensor for the iPhone 
13 mini, which means that when you take photos in low light, you will tend to see a better result than what you'll see on the iPhone 12 mini. Other than that, they do both feature similar video formats. You can go 4K 60 on both. You can do slow motion 1080 up to 240 FPS. They both have Dolby Vision HDR, but you can go up to 60 FPS HDR on the iPhone 13 mini. So there's a little bit more of a pro add-on into the 13 mini. It's still not a pro phone, but it's got a few more pro-like features and again, the cinematic video. So there's slighter upgrades to, I would say, the 13 mini versus like if you had the iPhone 12 Pro and went to the 13 Pro. However, they are gonna be a little bit noticeable and I do find the results to be better on the iPhone 13 mini. Also, going back to the display, we talked about the brightness. That 800 nits does allow you to see and frame photos outdoors a little bit better on the 13 mini just because you have that increased brightness. So while I found the iPhone 12 mini camera experience to be amazing, I find the 13 mini to be even better. Now the battery life is one of my biggest complaints with the iPhone 12 mini and because Apple went ahead and made it larger to 2438, you did actually get about an hour to an hour and a half better battery life for the iPhone 13 mini. That's what I'm seeing. So if you're asking the question, should I upgrade for battery? If you love the mini series and you want to hold on to this for a while, I would go ahead and do it because I'm not sure we're going to see another mini next year. So if you do want to have the longest battery life, go ahead and do the trade. It's definitely worth it here because it does stretch as far as you might need it. It's not going to be amazing, though. It's not like the iPhone Max series or the Pro series. So keep that in mind. But when you compare it directly to the 12 mini, it is a substantial update, I find, on the battery life. Now, in the area of Face ID, this also doesn't really change too much. So if you're looking to get a little bit better of a security feature, you know, it's, it's exactly the same. The angles even feel similar. They both unlock very quickly and nicely. Now, in the area of audio, they both do have stereo speakers, but I didn't really notice them to be very different from one another. They're going to get stereo performance on both. Both of them do tend to perform pretty adequately. I think they're very good. You can definitely watch a movie without needing to connect to something else, provided you're in the right environment. It doesn't really give you terrible experience at all. It's actually quite good for the size of these phones. And so let's wrap it up. Should you actually do the upgrade? And I find the upgrades like kind of minor here, but because the 12 mini, you know, and the 13 mini might be the last of this series as most of the rumors are pointing, we're not going to see this phone again next year. I would, if you really like this niche series, I would advise you to go to the 13 mini mostly because it has more of a day long battery for most people i think the 12 mini is slightly too too low like it just needs like that extra hour and that's what the iphone 13 mini provided you also you have a brighter screen which will be better for the long-term usage in addition to that a better night camera on the iphone 13 mini so slight but important upgrades for those of you who hold on to your phone a long time if you're just like no bro i'm just gonna go to a newer phone soon anyway i'm gonna go to a bigger phone hold on to the 12 mini then for a little bit and then consider making that decision later that's what i would do if i was in your shoes if you guys found this video helpful entertaining informing do me a favor click the like button for me subscribe if you haven't already i got way more content coming for you soon thank you very much for watching be sure to be well nick here and peace mm -hmm.